Hello everyone, I am Dr. Girira Sharma and today we will discuss about basic modes of ventilation. So what are the basic modes? So there are four basic modes are there. Today we will discuss about only why about basic modes of ventilation. So first is the IMV or IPPV. What is this? Intermittent mandatory ventilation or intermittent positive pressure ventilation. Second is SIMV, Synchronized Intermittent Mandatory Ventilation. Third is SIPPV or some ventilators call it Assist Control AC. So, Synchronized Intermittent Positive Pressure Ventilation or we will call it Assist Control also AC mode. Okay. And in SLE, it is called PTV, Patient Triggered Ventilation. So, different names are there in different types of ventilators, SIPPV, AC and PTV. Fourth is PSV. PSV is pressure support ventilation. So these four basic modes of ventilation are there. Today we will discuss about these basic modes. Other advanced modes are there. So that we will discuss in different classes. So first is IMV. So what is IMV? IMV is the intermittent mandatory ventilation. Means ventilator will deliver preset number of breaths each minute. Okay. If we set 40 breaths, so ventilator will deliver. 40 breaths of ventilation each minute. It will not bother about patient breaths. So, maybe is breathing at 60 or 70 or 50. This ventilator will not bother about it. It will deliver the preset number of breaths. And that also is not synchronized with the baby. So, sometimes what will happen? There will be fighting between baby and ventilator. Baby is trying to expirate and that time ventilator is giving inspiration. So, there is asynchrony between baby and ventilator. So, this mode is not used nowadays. IMV mode is not used nowadays. So, what are the drawbacks of IMV mode? First is that asynchrony. There will be fighting between, between baby and ventilator. That will cause increased airway pressure. That will increase risk of pneumothorax and IVH. And sometimes we will need sedation also. So these are the drawbacks of this IMV mode. And what are the settings we have to do in IMV mode? So four set first is PIP we have to set in IMV mode. PEEP we have to set. I time we have to set. FIO2 we have to set. This at we have to set. And weaning we have to wean PIP and rate. So this is the first mode IM. Then coming to SIMV, generally most commonly used mode is SIMV mode of ventilation. So this is synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation. Means ventilator will deliver preset number of breaths each minute and these breaths ventilator will try to synchronize with baby. Okay. So baby also is breathing, ventilator also is giving. So, ventilator will try to synchronize ventilator breathes with the baby's breathes. Okay. So, ventilator will wait for some time for baby to take breath. And if baby is taking breath, then that time ventilator will de deliver. That is called the window period, trigger window. In that trigger window, if baby is taking breath, then ventilator will synchronize with that. If baby is not taking breath in the trigger window, then ventilator will deliver its mandatory breath. Okay. So, the ventilator, if we set 40 breaths, so ventilator will support only the 40 breaths. That extra breaths, if baby is taking, if baby is taking 60 breaths, that extra 20 breaths are not supported by the ventilator. Okay. That is the, in SIMV mode. So, if 40 breaths will be supported and synchronized, baby will, ventilator will try to synchronize with baby. But extra, if baby is taking more than 40, that extra breath will not be supported by the ventilator. Okay. What are the settings we have to set in the SIMV mode? PIP we have to set, PP we have to set, I time we have to set, FIO2 we have to set. And one more setting is the trigger. Trigger sensitivity also we have to set in SIMV. Trigger, trigger is the how we, sh we have to, how we detect the baby's spontaneous breaths. That is the trigger because we have to synchronize with the baby. So trigger sensitivity also we have to set here in dragger ventilation. Here it is 1 to 10. If we want to set higher sensitive, 
then we have to set like 1 and less sensitive is around 10. So, this is the trigger sensitivity we have to set in SIV mode. Then coming to what are the benefits of the SIV mode. So, benefits that it is a synchronized mode. So, here is better synchrony between baby and ventilator. There is less fighting between baby and ventilator, less need of sedation. There is, it will reduce the mean airway pressure also, reduces the risk of IVH and pneumothorax. So, these are the benefits of the SIMV. Then coming to how to win the SIMV mode of ventilation. For winning, we have to win the FI2 as usual we will win and PIP and rate, PIP and rate both we have to win the SIMV mode during winning. Okay. So, this is the SIMV mode. Now, coming to what are the drawbacks of the SIV mode of ventilation. So, first drawback is that this will this is not supporting all the baby's breath. SIV will support only the preset of ventilation. Other breaths are not supported. So, other breaths the baby has to take its own and that also with the ET tube. That will increase the work of breathing and that will cause respiratory fatigue for the baby. Okay. And this will cause the fluctuation in the tidal volume also because the supported breathe tidal volume will be higher and breathes that are not supported with ventilator that tidal volume will be low. So, there will be fluctuation in the tidal volume. So, this is the drawback of the SIMU mode of ventilation. So, next mode is the SIPPV or assist control mode of ventilation. It is called PTV also. So, what is the assist control mode of ventilation? Assist control mode of ventilation will support all the breaths of the baby is taking. If baby is taking 50 breaths, ventilator will give 50. If baby is taking 70 breaths, ventilator will deliver 70 breaths. So, here rate is decided by the baby. So, all the breaths are supported in the assist control mode of ventilation. So, assist control has two parts, assist and control. Assist means all the breaths are supported if baby is breathing. But sometimes if baby is not breathing or there is no spontaneous efforts of the baby, then control part will work and ventilator will deliver the backup rates, preset number of the backup rates. So, here we have to set the backup rates. If baby is not breathing, then ventilator will deliver that number of the breaths. Like if we have set 40 backup rate, then 40 breaths will be delivered. If baby is breathing, the all the breaths will be supported. Okay. So, this is what are the settings we have to set in the assist control mode of ventilation. So, PIP we have to set as usual, PEEP we have to set, FI2 we have to set, inspiratory time also we have to set. But here we do not have to set rates because rate is decided by the baby. Here just we have to set the back, backup rate. If baby is not breathing, that backup, backup rate will be delivered. Okay. So, these are the settings. Then what are the benefits of the assist control? So, here first benefit is that all the breaths are supported. So, there is decreased work of breathing for the baby. So, baby is not taking any unsupported breaths. So, there is no respiratory fatigue, decreased work of breathing is there and tidal volume also is consistent because all the breaths are supported. So, more or less tidal volume is consistent. Okay. So, and what are the drawbacks of the assist control? First drawback is the auto triggering or air trappings. What is the auto triggering? So, here, uh, here we have to set the trigger also. Other settings uh, I forgot. We have to set the trigger also here. Sensitivity of the trigger. So, if we keep high sensitivity means we have set a like a 1 or 2 means it will detect the very low volume of the breath also. Okay, Very small spontaneous breath also will be detected in very high sensitivity trigger. Okay, That in sometimes what happens if any water is there in inspiratory limb or expiratory limb or if there is any leak also is there that also will be detected like a spontaneous breath. If water movement also will be detected like a spontaneous breath or ventilator will think that baby is breathing and that will ventilator will deliver the breath that is called auto triggering. So, in auto triggering means baby will have more of tachypnea. All breaths are supported, baby will have more tachypnea. So, tachypnea will be more visible in assist control mode of ventilation because all the breaths are supported. 
because of that baby is not taking having time for expiration so air trapping will be there auto triggering is there and because of the tachypnea co2 washout could be there and baby will have hypocarbia so these are the drawbacks of the assist control mode of ventilation now coming to the weaning how to win in assist control mode of ventilation so in assist control we have to win the pip fio2 we have to win but here no meaning of winning the rates because rate is decided by the baby so that rate is the only backup rate rates we don't have to win the rate if you are reducing rate also that you are reducing the backup rate so there is no point of reduce, reducing the rates in the assist control mode of ventilation so how much backup rate we should set in the assist control just below the spontaneous rates of the baby is spontaneous rate is 60 then we can set like 50 to 55 if spontaneous rates 50 we can set 40 to 45 so just below the spontaneous rates of the baby we have to set because we have to trigger we should allow the baby to trigger the breath we should not give we should not set more than the spontaneous breaths okay this is the assist control mode of ventilation psv mode pressure support ventilation so what is pressure support ventilation in PSV mode, all the breathes are supported. Like assist control here also, all the breathes are supported. Baby is taking all the spontaneous breathes will be supported by the ventilator. Then what is the difference between assist control and PSV mode? So assist control is time cycled and PSV mode is flow cycle. What is the flow cycling? So flow cycling is means during inspiration, there will be the peak flow and then it will flow will be reduced and when it flow is 15 to 20 percent of the peak flow that time cycle will change to expression okay in other modes what was happening there was we were setting fixed inspiratory time for that inspiratory time inspiratory flow will be delivered inspiration will be delivered for that inspiratory time but there is we are not set in psv mode we are not setting any any inspiratory time it is flow cycle means when flow is remaining 15 to 20 percent of the peak flow that cycle will change to the expression okay so this is the flow cycle mode of ventilation it is a we call it is spontaneous mode of ventilation also because this is here baby is breathing just ventilator is supporting all the breath slightly otherwise baby is breathing this mode we generally we use during recovery phase when baby is having good spontaneous respiratory efforts then only we use that's why we call it spontaneous mode of ventilation also then coming to what are the settings we have to set in the psv mode so we have to set the pip we have to set the pwp fi2 we have to set but we don't have to set the rates because rate is decided by the baby and in PSV mode, there is no backup rate also. Okay, in assist control, there was backup rate was there. If baby is not breathing, the backup rate will be delivered. But in PSV mode, there is no backup rate. Then what will happen if babies goes for apnea? That's why we are using in recovery phase when spontaneous efforts are good. But still, if babies go for apnea, then what will happen? Then ventilator will go in apnea mode. Okay, the ventilator will go in apnea mode and then in this apnea mode what are the rates are set that will be delivered to the baby okay that is the psv mode next setting is the i time or inspiratory time in psv mode we don't set the i time there is no need to set inspiratory time or i time also because it is not time cycle it is flow cycle so we don't set any inspiratory time here okay then coming to what are the benefits of the psv mode so here all the breeds are supported so there will not be any respiratory fatigue for the baby tidal volume will be more consistent in this psv mode okay benefit is that we can use with SIMV mode also with SIMV mode we can add some ventilator will have option of SIMV plus psv with SIMV we can support so what will happen that extra breathes that SIMV was not supporting that breathes will be supported by the psv mode so there will not be respiratory fatigue to the baby okay so this is the one more benefit of the PSV mode. Then 
what are the drawbacks first drawback is there is no backup rate if babies goes for apnea there is no backup rate but if a ventilator has the apnea mode then ventilator will change to the apnea mode and that breathes will be delivered okay second drawback is that here there is no inspiratory time here there is no inspiratory time so it is flow cycle and in flow cycling inspiratory time will be less for the baby so it will reduce the mean airway pressure because there is baby is getting less inspiratory time because of the flow cycling it will before coming to baseline it will convert to the expression so inspiratory time baby is getting less so mean airway pressure will reduce because of that baby can go in atelectasis so we have to give adequate PWP to prevent that atelectasis okay so in PSV mode synchrony is better because it has expiratory synchrony also in assist control mode only inspiratory synchrony was there but there is no expiratory synchrony in assist control mode but here because of the flow cycling expiratory synchrony also is there because ventilator is going in expression with the baby when baby is going in expression ventilator also is going in expression so in better synchrony both inspiratory synchrony and expiratory synchrony both are there in the PSV mode of ventilation now coming to winning of the PSV mode how to win the PSV mode so in PSV mode we have to win the PIP but no point of winning the rates because rates are decided by baby so only PIP we have to win and F5 to we have to win okay so this is the PSV mode spontaneous mode of the ventilation so these were the four basic modes of ventilation in next video we will discuss advanced mode of ventilation thank you so much